This book is called The Snowy Day. To Tick and John and Rosalie. And we've got the little boy looking outside the window and there's snow all over. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. Oh my goodness, it looks like they got some big drifts higher than the fence. After breakfast, he put on a snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, 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 his feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. See the way his toes pointed out? He walked with his toes pointing in like that. See his toes pointing in? Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. See how that looks? And he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. Probably a stick, so he drug it along with him. It was a stick. A stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. So what do you think happens when you smack a snow-covered tree? Let's find out. <laughs> Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. Yeah. And now it looks like he's doing some more walking. Maybe he's going home. Let's find out. Oh, there he is. He's got snow on him. Oh, how's he getting that? See, we got more snow here. What do you think those are? <gasps> There's somebody here. It looks like they're throwing something. I bet those are snowballs. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fault. fault. Fight, but he knew he wasn't really old enough. Not yet. So it looks like they're throwing the snowballs at him. So he made a smiling snowman. And he made angels. Those are called snow angels. You lay down and you move your arms and legs back and forth and it makes the shape of an angel. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great big tall heaping mountain of snow. And he slid all the way down. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. Ooh, what do you think is going to happen with the snow when it gets warm? You're right, it melts. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and thought about them while he's sitting in the bath with his yellow ducky. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. Do you see that spot there? That's where the wet spot is, where it melted. And there he is, going to bed. While he slept, he dreamed the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall, and they went out into the deep, deep snow. So there he is with his friend, and they're going out while it's snowing, and they're going to do some more exploring. The end.